Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys some tips on how to be successful when you're thrifting. This might just be an excuse to go thrifting. So basically, I'm just going to take you guys through what I like to do, some things I've like figured out over time. Basically, just take you guys through the whole process of what I think and what I do while thrifting. So yeah, I'm just going to be going thrifting, telling you guys some tips, showing you guys what I get, of course, obviously haul. I also want to maybe thrift some things for my room but we'll get into that maybe in the later part of the video. So yeah, let's get, let's just get right into it. A special thanks to today's sponsor, Cameron. I wanted to get Duncan, but it was too far away. What'd you get? Cookie crumble I got the cookie crumble venti. He's got a pink drink. Bro, why do you want to have mine? My first tip for you guys is to be creative. A lot of times when you're coming into a thrift store, you're not gonna find the exact item that you saw on TikTok or something that's super duper cute unless you get lucky. But having an open mind is key to finding some great things. Along with what I said earlier, you kind of have to form your own sense of style and what you think is cute. You gotta forget what anybody else thinks and get what makes you happy. This is probably my favorite tip, but check all the sections, every section in the store. It doesn't matter if it's your size or not, but you'll never know what you're missing out on if you're sticking to a little box that you put yourself in whenever you go thrifting. I find stuff in the men's section all the time. In fact, in this video, I found some things, but definitely check men's section, boys section, little girl section, anything, everything. Kind of along with my first tip is to be open-minded. Um, try to see how you can style things in a non-traditional way. Maybe that goes with trying it on, trying new things, but have an open mind and don't just pick up something because somebody else might think it's cute. Cultivate that sense of style that makes you feel good about yourself. And that goes with trying new things and maybe stepping outside your comfort zone. This is a tip I've been using ever since I started thrifting, and that's try to picture three outfits with each item that you try to wear. A lot of the times we'll pick up items that we might not wear most of the time because we're stepping outside of our comfort zone, which is a great thing, but try to think of the items you have at home and see what might fit with this. Remember, three outfits that go without one item, and I guarantee you that will help you out. This is a tip I don't really see talked about that often, but when you first get in there, check the fitting room racks and check the racks that they're putting out that are brand new because that will be your first pick. Kind of like if you go to the Goodwill bins and they bring out bins, like that type of mindset. Expect multiple trips for getting everything that you want on your list. I know if you guys saw my last thrift video, I didn't pick out everything that I wanted on my list. I got a lot of things, but not everything. And in this video, I actually found things that I wanted on my list from last time. So expect to go multiple times because it's kind of an ongoing process of thrifting. I know it's easy to overconsume at the thrift store, especially when everything is really inexpensive, but keep in mind that these are clothes that you will be growing out of and you don't want to overconsume because it's inexpensive. Definitely use that tip earlier about the three outfits per item and make sure you're getting things that you'll actually wear and actually use. And if not, you know, maybe it, you don't need it as much as you think you do. I feel like this one goes without saying, but definitely check the damages of the item before you try it on. 
a lot of times things are at the thrift store for a reason so keep that in mind and check everything hey guys so i'm back i went thrifting i found some really good things and i'm just so excited to show you guys as you can see my back wall is no longer bare got some you know records my vision board is up i hung up that little piece of paper that was inside the records and then if you look up a little branch from the dollar tree or like some leaf garland accessory thing so yeah my room is more decorated. So now I get to show you guys all the things that I thrifted. Oh, you know what, forget it. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Like I was talking about earlier in the video, I feel like this isn't like a really big thrift haul, but I think what's important to keep in mind with thrifting is you are consuming clothes, like clothes that you will grow out of. You don't need to get like a huge load of clothes every single time. These small little trips that you're building your wardrobe with are what's really gonna satisfy you in the long run versus getting ex like a lot of, mm, a lot of pieces that aren't going to last or that you'll like if that makes any sense so now i'm in the infamous black shirt that i wear in most of the videos because it's a nice basic to try things on with and in so let's go ahead and get into this video or let's go ahead and get into this try on haul all right i'm wondering if i should like show you guys on okay so first off let me just show you guys the pants that i got on right now because you know these are nice so the pants that I have on right now, they're like this corduroy material, like flare at they flare at the bottom, but it's not like a very big flare. They're more like wide-legged corduroy just trouser. And they're really good for like work or staying warm on cold days. Like today it literally snowed and I had snowed. Today it literally snowed and I had no idea it was gonna snow. And I was pretty warm in these. They're very comfy and they fit perfectly. They're not too tight, not too loose. Like I they literally fit perfectly. And I just like how in corduroy jeans or a lot of them. They have like the little clip and button instead of like a zipper and a button. And so yeah, that really worked out good. Alright, I got this puffer vest. Um, as you can see, some of the puff has been lost. But I still think it's really cute and when I tried it on it made me really warm. This is a prime example of checking in all sections because I'm pretty sure this is a I found this in the boys section, so yeah, that was that was nice. Like boys, like little boys. And I've been looking for like a cute puffer bag. It kind of just goes with everything. It's black. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look. Yeah. Get into it. Also, I feel like there's definitely enough space in here that you can wear like a sweatshirt or something under it. Something a little bit thicker. Next, I got this. Uh, I would say like a corset top. It's not a corset top like I don't know the actual name but if you can see like it has like ribbing comes down to like a little point and then it is held up by these two pointed edges yeah I don't know where, what brand it's from but I definitely saw something just like this at rainbow before so it's nice it's cute I'm definitely going to be wearing that maybe more in the summer maybe for the Valentine's Day shoot coming up um I don't know yet okay the next two items Cam actually thrifted for me. This was a while back, but I'm just now getting around to, I guess, showing them. So I'm, just, I'm going to include them into the haul. He thrifted me this like brown skirt. It's not like a mini skirt. It's like, you know, normal like skirt. It's a little bit big, but I feel like that can also work with the way that I style it. And it's kind of like a suede material, really nice. I don't know what the, oh, Altered State is the brand. And I've heard of that before, but I don't know if it's like, big i don't know anything about altered state maybe i'll look it up because a lot of times i'll go to the thrift store and find items that are literally in stores or in shops and i'll be like deal okay the second item that cam thrifted me is this puffer skirt puffer skirt guys you can't tell me this isn't cute like this is different too i love it so much i don't know how i'm gonna style it yet but I'm just so excited to wear this. The next and final two items that I got were these Wrangler jeans. These are just like a medium wash um, jeans. I got these from the men's section and I don't really know much about men's jeans, but I feel like these are nice because they fit bigger on me and they're not super tight, but they also like, I don't know, I feel like they come to like the perfect and they go all the way down to my legs. My ankle won't be out and exposed because you know, I'm a little bit, on the taller side, five eight and a half, five, 
you know, I'm a Clay 510 on the roster. But, yeah, these are really nice jeans. Jeans are definitely something good to buy from the thrift store because their longevity is literally endless. All right, and then this next pair is another pair of Wrangler jeans. They're just a little bit lighter. Anyways, this next pair is, how did the lighting change? Did y'all see the light chain? Okay, anyway. These next pair are just like another pair of Wrangler jeans. Once again, these are a little bit more light wash. Same, almost exact pair of jeans. Um, good quality, very sturdy, fit big on me. What more? What more can you ask for? And then this last item, I don't know what order I was going in, but falling off the hanger. As y'all know, in my last video, I ended up staining my white button-down shirt, which is like a staple in my closet. So I just picked up this new one. This one is a cotton material, so it's, it gets wrinkled really easily, which is a downside. It's by the brand Crown and Ivy, and it's a large, just a nice button-down white shirt. So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and staying till the end if you did. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below i don't know comment down below anything honestly that you know i need that engagement thanks for watching i hope you guys learned something new and i will see you guys next time thanks bye